Hello and welcome back to Take Refuge 3D with me, Peter. Now, uh, in today's tutorial, we're going to figure out which one of these sentient beings you can see on screen done it. No, I'm going to teach you how to make mat caps. And if you don't already know what a mat cap is, it's basically a very cheap rendering technique for visualizing your 3D models while you work on them. Back in the day when people did 3D, they just worked in wireframes and then they might take a long time to render. Um, and even before that, uh, they would not even work in wireframe. Uh, they would have to render the wireframe out. Um, now we work in a, uh, with these kind of uh, studio lights uh, these days when we're modeling and then we add textures to them late, later on. Now a matte cap, uh is so if we go to the top right here on your screen i'll go back over here um you've got uh the 3d view you've got material preview and you've got your render engine now while we're in the the uh solid view okay uh we can look at these different lighting setups okay so you've got this studio lighting that's installed with blender and you've got a few a few different ones and you can rotate them around and some of them you can and some of them you can't um, and then we've got our mat caps okay so the mat caps are like a little bit more advanced studio lights so they're particularly useful during the early stages of modeling or sculpting when the focus is on refining your shape proportions and surface details they provide a very quick and intuitive way to evaluate the whole overall look of your object and the feel of it without getting bogged down making shaders uh, and test renders uh, to see if your model's working or not. So there's a few that I use and the ones that I use uh, in particular are ones that uh, I've made a lot of the time. So some of the ones that come with Blender, I believe, uh, you know, this one here that we've got on the screen now. Uh, there's this one here, which sort of shows a, uh, a lower left shadow. And uh, this one here comes with Blender. Uh, this one show, is like a car paint material. It shows, uh, you know, a shiny scene. Okay. So I'm going to show you today how to make... Um, a mat cap and, and what it actually is uh, if you use plasticity you'll be very familiar with this one here which is the uh, the, the default modeling uh, mat cap in plasticity so what is the mat cap okay the mat cap itself is a pre-rendered image of a material or texture that can be directly applied to the model surface instead of relying on expensive shaders to calculate realistic lighting and material properties a mat cap allows you to quickly bypass these calculations by mapping a 2d image of a material or basically a photo of a of a material that's been lit directly onto the model itself so if you look at this mat cap you'll always notice the orange sort of stays in the same place and that's the light and then the reflectivity is orange and blue in here Okay, so the way that you make a mat cap is you basically render, uh, you know, a circle uh, with the uh, details on it that you want. Now, I've made a few and practiced a lot, and I've made a few really bad ones, like uh, this guy here, which just doesn't tell you anything that you need to know, although it looks very trippy. Um some really useful mat caps are you know like this one here okay but this is ugly this is just absolutely ugly so you know i've made my own version of that uh which is this one here and i feel it tells me the same info you know it tells me the more or less the same info but in a much more pleasing to the eye way and once you start adding on shadows cavities and outlines you get a little bit more uh detail as well um another one that i've made that i find really useful is this one which is for sculpting okay this shows me the uh the edges the highlights and the cavities 
okay so and another one if i want a little bit of a moody look i use this one okay it's the uh blue and orange or the the red and green uh setup and then i've got a another version of it as well that's a bit more harsh uh so i find these ones really good and um so i'm going to show you today how you can make your own mat caps okay so we'll get rid of everything here we'll just get it all off we'll get rid of this light as well okay and what we're going to do is we're going to go shift a mesh and we're going to add an icosphere okay and we'll make the subdivisions like four okay and we will control plus two to add a subdivision surface modifier on this shade smooth and that should be in the center of our world okay and press control alt and numpad zero to lock the camera press actually press first of all press number one to go into front view and then press control alt and numpad zero to lock the camera now select your camera okay go down to your camera data settings okay change the camera from perspective to orthographic okay and then zoom this all the way in actually let's go up to um the scene settings and we're going to select both of these drag and select both of these and we're going to call it let's just say 1500 or let's say 1024 okay and then when we're back in our we're going to zoom this all the way in now that doesn't look like well actually let's move our ball up g and get it into the center of your camera okay we'll just turn this mat cap off for a second and what we really want to do is we want to get this as centered to the camera as possible okay and then we go back down to our camera and our camera settings and we're just going to zoom this in a little bit until the edges are just overlapping all four corners okay and the reason for that is i don't know i just seem to find that you get less artifacts if it's a little bit bigger than it needs to be but like only by a couple of pixels okay and that's our camera set up okay we can probably bring it right along so it's facing up to that yep okay and then we're going to go into rendered mode okay and this is you should be presented with something like this if you haven't got an hdri uh set up um you can uh you know go to your world settings and uh bring one in okay so just going to bring this one in and then you'll start to see different lighting i'm actually going to use uh i'm going to use a hdri app uh, called easy hdri i believe you can find it on github or something like that and i'm going to create world nodes and i'm going to set these up and i'm just gonna now i can select a few different hdris now i don't want too much info from the hdri but i do want to use it as a little bit of a, a key light okay um and i'm just gonna rotate this one on the z a little bit and i'm going to bring the sun strength to zero uh actually 0 0.01 and 0 0.01 and we should get a quite a dark um i might go 0 0.05 okay so what we want to do next is add, bring in a light okay and so can shift a light and i'm going to use an area light okay and i'm just going to rotate that around like that and i'm going to duplicate it and i'm going to rotate it around like that i'm going to change this one under the light settings i'm going to change this one to a disc give it a bit different fall off to the one over here and i'm going to change the color on this one to a slight green 
Okay, and we'll change the color on this one to a slightly darker green. Okay, and I'm going to go into my world settings and I just want to bring this across. I'm going to rotate it around like that. I don't really know what kind of HDR I am making. I'm just playing around and this is the fun of this because once you've got, um, and I want to bring the light all the way up like that. This is kind of some X-Files vibes. Um, rotate Z and I'm just going to hold shift. So we'll go like that. Rotate Z. And we're going to make this one an ellipse. And we'll go five. And we'll just make that a bit brighter as well. Okay, and maybe just someone I might just change this to a blue, like the moonlight. And I might actually change this one to so what I'm I'm trying to visualize a kind of a scene here and that what kind of uh scene this might be. So I'm just gonna bring this one up and I'm gonna rotate it. Rotate it on the X. Oh, rotate it on the X. Okay, so the scene that I, I've got here, I'm imagining, I'm imagining that the moonlight's coming down from here and there's some car headlights from over there. And this might not be a particularly practical uh, for modeling um, uh, matte cap. But it might help you visualize a scene without having to set up the lighting um, yourself. So what we basically do um, next is we can go F12. Uh, we'll set up the render setting. So we've got 1024 times 1024, PNG, RGBA, and let's set our max samples here. Denoise on, get rid of artifacts. Um, if you don't have denoise, crank up the samples. But let's render this, press F12 on your keyboard and shouldn't take too long okay and there we've got it a matte cap so i'm going to go image save as and i'm just going to put this in my matte caps folder um all right so now that we've got a matte cap okay that we've that we've rendered and saved okay we can come back into our viewport mode okay and we want to install the matte cap so if we go to matte cap and you've on here okay you can see this little uh um, gear icon you click on that and you come down to lights matte caps install find the one in your custom matte cap fighter folder i'm gonna go moon car install okay and then it should be down the bottom. Okay, so now we've got that lighting set up for our object. Now let's turn our other objects back on from the beginning. And we have successfully, okay, made a matte cap. Okay, so this matte cap is a very moody matte cap and can help you highlight, um, can help you highlight uh, form on your scene. So what would this look like if it was lit from behind with a blue uh, moonlight coming through the window and some light coming in from the back? Instead of setting up that lighting setup, you've made a matte cap that does just that um, and you can use it whenever you like just to quickly reference things. Okay, so that is a really handy trick, right? Now, if you can't be bothered repeating this process, making lots and lots of matte caps on your own, uh, you can buy a pack off me for a dollar. Um, this is the hard surface matte cap pack of Take Refuge. I spent quite a bit of time crafting these, deliberating on what I need from my matte caps. And this is a pack of basically improved, approved upon matte caps for both hard surface work and sculpting. Now, I know it can be challenging bringing a vision to life. That's why when I made these, I considered my own workflow and I use them daily. And 
truly they're a godsend and help me achieve my results, right? And they uh, save time on setting up lighting, shaders, and test renders, uh, and help me get down to actually just making the uh, the assets that I need to make. Um, some of the other ones are to see surface imperfections in a way that doesn't require using that horrific red monstrosity. Um, and I fine-tune the lighting on each one to ensure that every detail, edge, and contour is emphasized. And the result is this collection of bar paint, plastic, uh, sort of like rough uh, generic neutral ones for sculpting, chrome ones for, you know, checking out imperfections and all of that. Um, it's not all about aesthetics. I've integrated these, like I said, into my workflow seamlessly. By simplifying the process of visualizing materials, you can find yourself spending less time on shading, more time on focusing on the main event, the art itself. So if it appeals to you and you want to help me and the channel out, it's a dollar, or you can pay more if you want, pay what you want. Um, and that's essentially it. Um, thanks for watching my uh, MatCap uh, tutorial and post any questions or, or comments in the comments like and subscribe and press the bell notification thanks for watching bye